Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Strategy Game and we're returning to our Fridays for Future Let's Play of Fate of the World, the climate change game. So there are a couple of news over here. Uh, there are some unfortunate news in, in that the sea level is rising so that is going to cause more problems in the future. Uh, but, but, I'm very very happy about one thing and that is we have been bringing down global annual emissions uh, pretty consistently over here so that is certainly some very very good news. We are of course struggling with some of the regions. India isn't coming down as, l as fast as I would have loved to see. And on the other hand, South Africa is already coming down. So that was one of the rising regions actually over the last couple of decades. So it's very good to see that come down. We'll also need to spend some time I think on Southeast Asia. So yeah, let's, let's have a look at that. On the other hand, I'm fairly happy with where things are right now. Uh, there are some bad news all over the world especially in India as always, but also in Russia, so let's see what we can do about them. Um, I think the biggest issue is probably food. Everyone is, seems to be okay, even North America seems to be a little bit doing a little bit better now. So yeah, let's look at emissions and the biggest polluter, so India, Southern Africa, and actually the Middle East. Yeah, we're not doing that much in the Middle East. Right, in India, any any really bad news? Oh yes, gas and uranium are a little bit short. I mean, it's not much, but it's a little bit, and that's no good. So, there is a global ban of cleft rates, which is very good, because that is... Can we get back green outlook? Oh, I think it's, it's uh, they like us because it's a green outlook. So, yeah, we've banned uh, cleft rates globally, uh, because the exploration of these types of natural gas resources is pretty bad. So that's no good. Ooh, further water stress in India, that's no good. There's sunshine. Very good drives to, to more energy efficiency, so that is good to see. But is it going to be enough? Also, uh, some reforestation is, is very nice to see, uh, because that definitely does mean more uh, future income. Ooh, also uh, GDP. Right, so really the biggest issue here is water shortage and of course the emissions themselves. They're mostly coming from all over the place, including energy and the commercial sector. It's actually fun to see the commercial sector being that prominent. And it's mostly... This is always a little bit weird to me. I think this is coming from the energy and the transport. I don't see any emissions from uh, the sector itself. So let's look at the energy sector over here. And it seems like we are mostly using uranium, and indeed we are. Coal is, is being reduced over here. But we're also starting to use oil again, which which I really dislike. Uh, because we do need oil for more important stuff. But we are committing to nuclear. I think we should actually see energy usage come down, or we'd hope to see that. Well, it's constant, which is something if we are growing economically. Right, what can we do though? I think we could start to try to get quantum computing. Super smart grids will be coming in online in North America next turn. So if we buy quantum computing now, we might get into super smart grids very quickly after that. So that might be one of the things that we do want to do. I don't think there's that much more that we can do. Well, we could do storm defenses, which wouldn't be bad. But other than that, there's not much we can do for water. Uh, at this very moment at least, so yeah, I think we'll have to skip something and I'm going to skip the biochar for a second over here uh, because I'm not sure just how, m well, water stress is extreme actually and it's mostly industrial water that is causing, well, mostly agricultural water so yeah, let's actually continue with biochar improvements because they will give uh, the agricultural less water usage, so that that's okay and over here on the land and protect soil forest. I think we're going to switch this out against... Wait a minute, what was I thinking? Okay, right. Acquire quantum computing. It's going to give a boost to the GDP. Which is welcome. But on the other hand, I mean... Overall, we're doing fine over here. HDI is coming up, so that's nice to see. I would really like to see oil coming down. Or usage coming down. Right, Southern Africa, one of the other regions that is not that great. But on the other hand, everything else seems to be fine over here, including smart meters. Uh, is very nice to see. Technology, we have got the advanced turbines and the photovoltaic cells. We will need the super smart grids at some point in the very near future. But for now, I think we are fine over here. 
And we could start to think about the super tensile materials and nanotechnology and all of that. Um, but that is going to have to wait, I think, a little while. Other than that, though, uh, our electricity here is starting to come a little bit more from renewables. And we are starting to replace coal. So that is nice, although I don't think it's as quick as I would have loved to see. We can actually Tobin tax Southern Africa, which is interesting to see. Is there anything else that we do want over here? Strictly speaking. Can we expand natural gas power usage? Mm, we cannot. And I don't think that we should. We are on a balanced outlook, so deploying sulfates wouldn't be too bad. It wouldn't be that helpful either, so... Actually, I think acquiring more technology might be the way to go over here. And we would, of course, start with advanced drilling, even though advanced drilling in itself doesn't really uh, help us with renewables, except for geothermal power, but I don't think it's very significant, so yeah, let's see about that. Uh, the third polluting country was the Middle East. Let's have a look at what's causing the pollution, pollution over here. It's energy and energy alone, mostly gas, oil burning. Very few renewables in the mix down here. So we definitely need to think about the energy mix over here. We are playing the Tobin tax, which uh, makes people dislike us quite a bit. But it does give us some benefit as well. Coal no longer used in industry. That's very nice to see. There's more drought in the future. So that is something that we do need to keep in mind. We should actually see energy usage coming down here as well. Oh no, it was going up because, ooh, the industrial, yeah, we, we replaced the coal in the industry uh, with power, so that means that we are now using a lot more power, and it actually looks like that is mostly coming from gas and a little bit from oil, so not necessarily the best idea, but it works for now, so I'm, I'm going to go with this. Um, we could acquire all of these things, which wouldn't we be too bad, really? And that would give us the potential to uh, use renewable energy sources here next turn as well. So I would very much like to acquire quantum computing and photovoltaic cells. Super tensile materials. I don't think we need that. Although it is nice because it does give some tidal power, tidal power expansion potential. Although it, that really is not the most important uh, aspect that you can play. Other than that, you're a materialist, and being materialist means uh, it's probably a good place to play the sulfate aerosol, because our temperature overall does, I think, warrant some more, some more um, geoengineering. So I think this is a good place for that. We can actually look at the outlook. So most regions are by now communal or better, so except for North America, where we're already playing this um then we have got the middle east we've got russia japan and oceania so these are the countries where we can play these things uh, without without taking too aggressive approach okay so these were the main emitters south asia we should think about and china as well so let's look at those as well in south china it's again mostly the energy part and i think we are all also here we are trying to get to renewables uh, but we are waiting a little bit with that until we get the right technologies and the right technologies we have been working towards so that is okay to see right so advanced turbines photovoltaic cells quantum computing all of these things would be fairly good let's acquire what we can so quantum computing and i think photovoltaic cells are generally better so that's nice uh, we could drop out of the biofuels here for a second and acquire the advanced turbines as well, which I think would be pretty good. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Advanced turbines, that does give a flat out 10% boost to everything, so that's cool. China, technologically, you are looking fine, fairly good actually. So yeah, happy with the result over here. So what are the news? Do we, do we actually look at the news in Southeast Asia? Yeah, a lot of pollution. But other than that... Oh, some storms. And people here are rather vegetarian. Storms. We don't have any storm defenses, so we do need to take that into account. 
So after all that's not acquired the turbines. Let's get the you know what, let's drop out of the photovoltaic cells, let's go for the storm and let's do acquire the turbines because they already uh, give a boost to coal, oil, gas, uranium, so basically all, everything that we are using right now. Whereas photovoltaic cells, we are not using that right at this moment, so I think this is going to be fine. Right, China, any news? Second generation biofuel, that's actually pretty good because that will give us some more technology. A lot of transport being conducted, uh, being shifted over to uh, electric cars, so that's nice to see. Although I think the power over here, the power usage is mostly, probably mostly used in the industry and mostly generated from uranium. 12% uh, is, is a very misleading number. You can see there's basically a, a factor of three in, in all of these numbers, so yeah, I think that's fine. But it's, it's mostly, this is not taking up any resources, so that's good to see. So where are your emissions actually coming from? Yeah, it's not the energy production for once. It's mostly agriculture again. Yeah, there's only so much we can do about the agriculture though, because I think we have done the vegetarian thing. Is it actually listed anywhere here? Grassland management is nice. Yeah, and vegetarian program is as successful as possible. So can't really do that much more over here. We could acquire the high crop yields. When now would we get that? In 16 years. I think this is a good choice. Because that will mean we're also using less water for this, so it's gonna be alright. Could all of the do all of these adaptations, uh, which I don't think are required though. So everything else over here actually seems to be fine. Could do some infrastructure investment. But I don't think that's required. We are switching over to electricity, so that's nice to see. Post generation nuclear conversion is good so that we can get more uh, efficiency out of everything nuclear. So I'm pretty happy with that. We might actually collect some taxes over here. That's pretty alright. And then we could do something else in, in the Middle East potentially. So not use turbine tax, but maybe acquire some some further technology. Right now we're acquiring quantum computing and photovoltaic cells. Supertensile materials might be nice as would second generation biofuels. We are deploying sulfates. So we got to protect the land. Why not do this? Yeah, I think that's fine. Right, so we've done uh, all of these countries. Uh, let's head over to Europe, which is currently our headquarters. So that's nice to see. Yeah, cleft rates banned, that's okay to see. Coal no longer used in industry, that's also very nice. And a lot of just generally positive news. Except for some smaller ones, especially storms. Okay, so we do need to be mindful of storms. We don't really have... Well, no, sorry, we do have improved storm defenses, so we could adapt to storms. Might be okay, although that's really... Just something that you'd have to play every turn, so I'm not sure it's the best we can do. In terms of technology, you've pretty much got everything that you can. Four turns till we get nanotechnology, which is extremely important. But yeah, other than that, everything seems to be fine over here. We don't need to do water management. Europe does have plenty of water, so I'm not actually too concerned about that. And in terms of emissions, it's fairly low, mostly the energy sector. Could play more renewables over here, might not be the worst idea. And I mean, we do have the best technologies for that, right? Yeah, we do have the photovoltaic cells, we do have super tensile materials, we do have advanced turbines. So we might actually want to do commit to renewables. I do think that's a good, good choice over here. Nothing in terms of, I don't want to deploy aerosols over here because these people are communal and they are not going to like that. We could tax Europe, but what would be the point? No, no, no. I think we are fine over here in Europe, in Northern America. People are a little bit more consumerist, so we are deploying uh, these things over here. They also didn't quite like that uh, we banned the cleft rates because these people have a denialist outlook, so they are more consumerist. That's no good, but just has to be. Coal no longer used in interest industry is very good, though. And electricity being shifted over towards, oh, sorry, transport being shifted over towards electric cars is also very nice. 
Uh, that potentially does mean that in terms of energy production, we are requiring more than we did before. And that is to some extent taken up uh, by renewables. You can see geothermal, wind, hydro, and solar power figuring in here. But also they are now using a little bit of gas, so natural gas. But on the other hand, they should be using much less for transportation itself. So that's nice to see. Yeah, and I think next turn this will be declared to be as successful as possible. Uh, nevertheless, I think this is a very good uh, thing to do over here. Super smart grid's gonna come in very soon, so that's nice. AI actually not that far away either. How far are you actually away from Nanotech? Pretty far is the answer. Okay, so... Protecting the land and soil. Turbine taxing. People do like us fairly well after all. Feminine relief. Huh. Could also do transport efficiency investments. But... I'm a little bit twisted between these two. But I think... No, no, no. You know what? Next turn we are going to get the technology for super smart grids and I want to see what that does first. So we are going to play the protect land cards rather than renewables and that should be alright. Good. Other than that, in the world, what do we have? We've got Latin America, Northern Africa. Okay, let's just go left to right now. So Latin America first. Very stable over here. Fourth generation nuclear. A lot of technology acquired. That's nice to see. We might run out of money at some point, but I think we'll be fine actually. Uh, just quantum computing all over in the world is pretty good for our GDP and thereby for our economy. Right, so your energy usage, oh sorry, your emissions are coming from every sector, including the energy and transport. Transport is pretty high compared to other nations. You're using a lot of oil actually in the mix, which I dislike. The firstly, technologies, some catching up needed. Yeah, on advanced turbines and the photovoltaic cells. So these are actually things that we might want to acquire. But at the very least, these two technologies we are going to try and grab. That should be okay. Balanced outlook. Not that much to do over here. Subsidized biochar. We could also go to organic farming. I mean, farming seems to be a, have, having a large impact over here. We also don't actually have biofuels, which is interesting to see. Could start to commit to renewables. Uh, but I don't think it's, it's worthwhile without these two technologies, at the very least, and better even, uh, super smart grids. The clown of all power? No, no, no. Okay, so let's actually switch to organic, shall we? Does use less energy, less oil, less water. Less energy. Does decrease GDP though. So we are gonna switch to this and that might be alright. Northern Africa. I expect a lot of problems over here. So yeah, there is gonna be some drought. Deforestation is being decreased. Ooh, but some, some very good news over here actually. Including the slashing of waste. So I, I just wonder, are your emissions actually coming up or down? They're coming up. Mostly due to the commercial sector. That's weird. Well, uh, I mean, they are coming down actually very nicely down here. So that's pretty cool. Um, do we have all the technologies that we need? No, we definitely do not. So quantum computing first. And we might switch into the other ones later. Right, okay, there we go. Quantum computing. And we might actually drop out of the biochar. And... Well, drought is not an issue here, so I think we are going to be okay. And then I think the next thing is to go to advanced turbines, because probably the energy here is still being created from sort of everything. So yeah, let's go for advanced turbines. There we go. Very nice. Russia. Cleft rates ban. Yeah, they really didn't like that. And they don't like to be turbine text, which I sort of understand. On the other hand, you are getting a lot of nice technology here, aren't you? Photovoltaic cells, you're going to get that next turn anyway, as is the case with aerosols. 
and biotech actually. So we don't need to push these things aggressively. Maybe the super tensile technologies. I mean, it does give a very limited benefit to renewable energy. So, on the other hand, protecting the land in Russia seems to be a fairly good idea, as are business and household regulations. I mean, your emissions are fairly insignificant anyway, but you know what? It's, it's still going to be fine. Right, Japan, how are you doing, my friends? Yeah, you didn't like that decision, but you do love us overall, so that's nice to see. And you're actually stable, so that's good to see as well. Japan is overall heading in the right direction, and just... Things are fairly... I'm going fairly well, so... I think that is appreciated. We could do industrial carbon regulations. And again, your emissions are really so, so small. Really doesn't do anything for us. Do you want to acquire any technology? Don't think so. Happy for the uh, desalination research to go on down here. In terms of crop management or anything like that, I don't think there's anything that we do need. Go with famine relief program, but I'm too convinced about this. Could do job sharing initiative. People would like that. But it's not re really required. Okay, let's go coal free industry. I think it's going to finish next turn anyway, but it's just going to get rid of that card as well. You didn't like the ban on death rates. Okay, that's unfortunate. Other than that, though, you seem to be going doing fine, except for the storms. We could adapt to that. Oh, we actually haven't played wildlife con conservation. That's interesting. Let's buy another card down here in Australia. You've got quantum computing. So I think it might make sense down here to also deploy aerosols. That should be okay. Right, where are we playing um, the tax? In Russia. Well, since you don't like us, how about we switch out of this and look for popular alternatives, uh, sorry, not popular, uh, affordable alternatives here. Eco awareness. Mm, none of these are extremely helpful. But yeah, people do dislike us over here, so I would like to get rid of the Tobin tax for now. Lift regional ban? No, certainly not. Encourage consumption? No, that seems like a very, very bad idea. Could grow the agricultural sector. It would not literally be the worst. Anything else that is too expensive? Maybe the expand na natural gas production. Uh, doesn't need to be played right now. But since we can't acquire technologies over here, I don't think it's it's required. And we don't really have any alternatives. I mean, all of these things are fairly expensive. Hmm. And since we are getting most of these technologies anyway, I think it makes sense to buy technologies at this point. Okay, let's do some transport um, investments, which I think are going to be okay. It's a very intermediate step, but nothing too big. And then some improved storm defenses. They might come in uh, hand useful later on, so that I think is going to be nice. So let's advance to 2090. Oh, well, ooh! Global gas production peaks, so uh, our analysts have confirmed that global gas production is falling. That's that's fairly bad, but we do see a drastic decrease uh, in the amount of, or in the temperature actually, so uh, it has actually decreased a little bit last term, and that is due to our heavy geoengineering. This is a situation that is very not much not sustainable, uh, but it does come in handy now. We've also got the super smart grids breakthrough, which is nice to see. I think some fires in North America must have stopped, so that's good to see. Other than that though, people do like us a little bit more in Russia and Oceania, which are really the most important aspects right now, because they were sort of at the danger of kicking us out. Let's actually look at emissions over here. So yeah, they're below 40,000. 
very very good drop over here where's that drop coming from a little bit from Latin America significantly from India and from Southern Africa North America of course yes I think these were wildfires they were fairly unusual to begin with and Southeast Asia is still increasing but that's that's nice to see yeah let's actually look confirm that in North America it was probably wildfires emissions yeah 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 so some wildfires there that's okay and then southern asia we probably see oh sorry southern africa we probably see that renewables are just gaining much more traction over here and over here in north america how does the electricity look like 100 percent renewables okay so yeah we did introduce electric cars and that put a great load on on things and did actually increase some oil, uh, sorry, gas burning as well. Uh, but now we are on super smart grids and that does mean uh, we have very, very significantly better uh, renewable technology. So yeah, this is this is great. And this is something that we'll strive to introduce uh, for quite a couple of our other re uh, regions as well. So just trying to help out uh, with the energy production there. Right. So, that being said, um, oh, we can actually look at the forcing down here. So, we are forcing the temperature to much, much below where it, um, quote unquote, should be, uh, which is nice. But if the divergence between the uh, parts per million and the actual temperature gets too large, uh, there is going to be some problems with droughts and all of that. And that is something that we definitely do want to avoid. And let's also briefly check just the stability everything seems to be either very stable or restrictive or stable so that's nice to see in terms of coal, coal usage i'm no, sorry coal usage still mostly southern africa but also southern southeast asia does seem to burn a little bit of fuel north america not burning any coal for at this moment so that's nice to see and in terms of local food it's too low in india and it's too low in north america but these are things that i do think we can look at in the future. Whew. Lots of, lots of fuel issues down there. But other than that, some, some very good news. All over the place. Very good. So, uh, that does leave us with, uh, I think potentially at some point, sorry, uh, at some point we might have a look at new technologies that we can get over here. So in our headquarters, we will be doing some spacey stuff uh, fairly soon. And I think that is going to come into play once we get to the nanotechnology. So that's only three turns away. And I think our turns are starting to accelerate a little bit. So maybe next time uh, we can actually play two turns. That would be uh, sort of great. But until then, I thank you very much for watching. Do leave a like and all of that. And I see you guys next Friday. Bye bye.